Hello there everyone, my name is Luke. And my name is Chloe. Tonight we're going to set out to get a once in a lifetime capture. We're aiming to get Comet, Leonard and the Globular Cluster M3 both in the same shot at the same time. So Chloe, can you tell everybody what we're going to be using tonight to make this capture? So we're going to use 60 second exposures through the Red Cap 51 and the 2600 MC. I think those two put together are going to make an absolute perfect match for this particular target. It's going to be wide, it's going to be fast and most of all it's going to be razor sharp which should enable us to get quite a bit of detail through such a small scope. Now due to how the weather forecast has been just recently and indeed how it looks for the next week or so, this is set to be just about our only chance to make this capture. Tomorrow looks set to be an interesting one for anybody whose uh, weather does indeed clear as Comet Leonard is almost going to appear to be inside the sphere of M3's globular cluster shape. So can you tell everybody just how long we're going to be shooting for tonight? It should be imageable from about 2am till about dawn. Yeah, that's what it's kind of looking like to us when we've uh, plugged in this comet's coordinates into Stellarium and taking a look at where it's going to be and when. It looks like it'll be imageable in uh, a decent elevation, kind of out of the murk of light pollution from where we shoot from uh, by about, like she says, about 2am onwards. Well, I think now that all that's said, we've got a plan in action and all we need to do now is just wait and pray that it does clear up. I'd really like to make this capture and I think you would too. Yeah. So I'm pleased to say after hours and hours and hours of waiting, it's 3.40 a.m. now, it's finally cleared. We'll be keeping his eyes on it and uh, just seeing what's happening and just out of nowhere after it looked really unpromising. It's all just gone as fast as it arrived and uh, I think we can go take a look now over on Chloe's iPad. She's already on the target and imaging it. She's got it custom framed um, with the star in between, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so I've just came over to the iPad, Chloe's iPad there, and we're gonna take a quick look at the screen. I'm apologizing in advance for any shaky camera. It's uh, currently about zero degrees exactly out here, but that wouldn't be so bad if I was dressed for it. Um, as you can see, this Comet Leonard and that huge tail extending, hopefully you can see that on the screen there. Um, we're having a little bit of difficulty guiding quite well tonight because um, it's quite windy. Uh, but you can't have it all, I guess. I'm just happy that it's cleared up and on a new moon night, no, no less. So uh, hopefully this little brief overview shows you roughly how we've got it framed. Um, over here on my screen, you can see I'm taking some mono frames. I've borrowed Chloe's camera for a while. Uh, and there it is just in mono being shot through the Esprit 120 and the reducer. All right, so we're at about 6 a.m. now, and I think the night has basically drawn to a close for us. Uh, we've done our absolute best. We've captured, we waited up, and uh, we got what we waited for, I would like to say. Um, I think in total I got about 100 just luminous frames for me. I didn't bother taking any RGB. I was just interested in seeing kind of how it looked. Um, how many frames did you think you got, Chloe? Uh, I think about 120. Yeah, something like that. So uh, that's going to be plenty of data, even if there is guiding errors, passing clouds, things like that. We have been kind of struggling with guiding errors all night because uh, I don't know if it's coming across on camera with this uh, dead cat on the microphone here, but it's very, very windy tonight. And uh, it's even affecting the, the massive EQ8 mount there. It's, it's pushing things around quite worryingly. Uh, so we've done his absolute best though, and I'm really interested to see just how it all turns out. Well, we're gonna have to capture a few flats now before we head off inside. And uh, I think that's largely about it for us tonight. I'm really glad we did stick it out and get done what we wanted to do. It's just all that remains to see now is how it turned out. So I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video, even if it's been a slightly different one with Chloe involved here. Um, 
And yeah, just thank you very much indeed for watching from both of us, really. And uh, a huge thank you, as always, because that's all my YouTube channel members and support that you guys have been giving. I always say thank you, but I always mean it. So uh, honestly, guys, thank you so much for all the help and support. And I think that's about it for tonight now, eh? Let's take these flats and get inside before we freeze. So thanks very much for watching. And until next time, glace, guys. Thank you.